This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Car Guys New England, and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about laser jammers. Um, just very brief overview. Um, so I was recently at a uh, Cars and Coffee event, and uh, I noticed somebody who pulled in, fellow Murcielago owner, and... Uh, the first thing I noticed was that he had uh, laser jammers uh, on the front of the car. Um, and by no means am I knocking him. I actually think he's a really good guy. Um, and hopefully, as a result of this video, I kind of mentioned something to him uh, at the Cars and Coffee event uh, that his heads were misaligned. And uh, just take a quick look at this clip. So the first thing I noticed on this beautiful car is that the heads are pointing outwards, not straight ahead, and also they're way too low to provide adequate protection from laser. So as you can see in that video, uh, it looks like the car had a uh, K40 uh, laser uh, jammer system in it. Um, but one of the things that stuck out to me right away were the fact the heads were not facing straight ahead, but they were actually facing out uh, and pretty drastically out. Uh, also, the heads were actually way, 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 way too low um, to even give adequate protection, not to mention it was only two heads uh, from a K40 system. Um, you know, it's just, it's an older system. It is what it is, uh, but... If he wanted to get the most out of it, um, it, he would definitely have to move the heads, make sure that they're pointing perfectly straight and perfectly level to do their job correctly, um, which, you know, he apparently wasn't aware of that. Uh, but the shop that installed that should know that, and they should also be getting these things tested. Um, that is one thing that you do anytime that you put a laser jammer system in your car is you find somebody that does testing and you test the vehicle against uh, different guns that are out there and uh, you see how it performs and, and then you can get an idea whether or not you need to realign the heads or, or something like that um, or to make some adjustments or, or whatever you need to do to resolve the issue. And that's very important because you do not want to get bitten in the real world um, when, you know, he finds out that, you know, let's say a mass state trooper hits him with a true speed S. At that point, uh, he's going to be toast. His jammers probably are not going to even go off because they, they were so pointed outwards. And then also because they're so low you know, it may not even do anything at that point. Um, but again, I'm not, you know, crapping on this guy. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I just really hope that, um, you know, he's able to get the help he needs to get that resolved so he can get the most out of his system. And at the end of the day, so he does not get a speeding ticket. But, um, you know, Hope he's not offended by this. Uh, I know he watches the channel, but uh, if he ever needs to get the system retested or anything like that, uh, I'd be more than happy to put him in a direction where he could, um, you know, figure out what is going on with uh, his system. So, uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, this is Car Guys New England. And uh, if, if you guys have comments or questions, uh, be sure to comment down below. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Uh, if you don't like it, don't like it. <laughs> um, and uh, if you're not subscribing, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate all the subscribers that we have. And uh, also all the great people that we've met at the shows. Uh, just been tr tremendous, uh, you know, um, amount of support that we've gotten from a lot of people at the car shows so we've had a great time this year and uh looking forward to making more friends out there and uh you know just enjoying the new england car community so anyways thank you very much for watching guys and uh until next time take care